Okay, so your homework is just an extension of what I asked you guys to do on the last module, which is working on this character, okay? So hopefully today kind of helped with thinking about how to draw your character um, and how to draw a background. You might want to consider using things like perspective drawing in the background. Where are they? Maybe, you know, there's some houses or buildings going off in the distance or, you know, maybe they're somewhere where there's objects going in different directions because it's a, at, an, at, a, at a corner. Um, so I want you guys to kind of draw a character. The character can really be up to you. It could be any kind of character. Uh, I don't, you know, it's up to you to come up with a character. Um, you know, think about all the things we talked about, like proportion, face proportions. It doesn't have to follow everything I said. I'm just giving you some advice. Obviously here, like the eyes are way bigger than the eyes I showed you, but you know, just thinking about here, the, the neck is deliberately elongated. But coming up with a character, um, you may want to consider taking your own picture as a reference, or you can use one of those websites I showed you, like Pexels or Morg File, to find a photo and use that as a reference. Um, I would like you guys to be, you know, I want you to draw the character in Adobe Anime. Uh, I want there to be a background too. So there should be a, for, you know, a character and a background. You know, I would recommend having them on different layers, but it's up to you to, about how you want to draw it. Um, you know, you should think about where a character exists. So they exist, are they in a store? Are they outside in the forest? Are they, you know, in a desert? You know, where are they? Um, really the only requirements are that there's a character um, and that there's a background. I would really like you to use some, you know, I want this to be colored in. So, you know, use the tools to quickly, you know, add color to your character. We've talked about how to add color, you know. So I don't want it to just be a, a pencil sketch. Um, I'd also like you to tidy up your lines a little bit. So, you know, go in, remove unnecessary lines where applicable. I mean, you guys have some time to work on this. So, you know, go in and, and tidy up lines as if, you know, this is your final, you know, as if you're going to present this to someone, because that's kind of like what you'd be doing, right? This is like your final animation, you know, like if you were painting, drawing this for um, a movie or whatever, it's like, well, these are your characters, how it's going to look, right? So you want to make sure it looks good. When you submit, I want you to, you know, save the FLA file from Adobe Animate. Um, so make a new file. I don't really care about the size. The size can be up to you. You can set up whatever frame rate you want because we're not animating this. Um, I do want you to output your output this as an image. So we talked about this before, but you would go to something like file, export, export image. I would probably use legacy. I think that's probably the best way to go. And you could save this. So let's pretend this is my sketch. I'd call it like, you know, last name, first name, character sketch. You can decide what format you'd like to use. Any of the formats here are fine. Any standard image format, like a JPEG, PNG, GIF file is all fine. This is the dimensions. Uh, just make sure quality is set to 100%. That's fine. So I don't know where my image just went to, but you know, here's my sketch. Let's pretend this is my sketch. I would put that with the FLA file. Um, and I would put that into a folder. So, you know, put your name on a folder, last name, first name, you can call it something like character. Um, I'm going to place, let's pretend. So here, I'm gonna take the outputted photo. I'm going to put it into this folder here. Let's pretend that this is my FLA file. Take both of the files and take the folder and compress it. How you compress this into a zip file depends on whether you have a Mac computer or you're running OS X or Windows. If you're on Mac, you literally can just take any folder, right click and go to compress. That would make a zip file. See so it says, yeah, yeah, you know, zip. 
If you're running on Windows, um, the way this will work, I'll see if I can include a video for you, but a separate one in the video list here. But essentially you will write, this is a Mac, so it won't show you exactly how it would be, but it would be send to, and then there should be something called compress or zip and choose that option, choose where you want the zip file to be created, and then it will output the zip file, okay? And then you will then submit that to here. Um, you can't see it actually, because I haven't posted this yet, but there'll be a little thing up here that says submit, submit it, submit me the zip folder, and then that's how you can submit the project, okay? If you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me, and I'll be more than happy to help you with the uploading process. Okay. All right. So please work, you know, continue working on this. Uh, in the next module, we are going to start to animate using Adobe Edit.